Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Team Titan. I'm Kevin and today I'm going to show you the 10 things that I can't live without. I feel like I can't live without a lot of things, but at the same time, I feel like I can live with very little things. So I don't know, you guys judge that for yourself. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so one of the things that I can't live without is actually my portable chargers. Um, I have three with me. I carry at least one or two when I go out. So the reason why I have so many portable chargers is because I'm always on my phone. I will plug into like portable fan. Recently, I got a new phone, so I started gaming on my phone and this is why I'm always on the go. Okay, so the next item is my cameras. I have both digital camera and I have film camera. So photography is also my hobby and also my work. So I just started film like a year ago. I consider myself still a newbie for it. This one um, is actually very precious. This is always with me or only when I bring it out shoot where you know I have people around me that I feel comfortable and I can trust with. This one, um, this is really heavy. This one is actually lent to me by a friend. I mean, I have it with me for like a year now. <laughs> so this one, I actually got it from two months ago for 70 bucks. Goodbye. And this is the camera that I usually go out with my friends to take photos with. The thing about film cameras for me is actually a very satisfying thing when you print out your photos and then I actually give them to my friends as a gift. You know, you create memories, you know, they can do whatever with it. For all my film cameras, they apparently all have names. This is called Valencia. I name it after a city in Spain, so Valencia. Uh, wow, Valencia is very heavy. This is Margo. Uh, Margo is actually a lake in France. So this one, um, this one's a little bit special. This one's called Percival because when I bought it off my friend, he bought it off three pieces of these. One is called Lancelot, one is called Arthur, and one is called Percival. We just got it off from Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, you know? This is practically my workhorse. This is the normal digital camera. I carry a Sony with me. And also, please do not put this into the equipment list. This cost me my kidney. <laughs> Another thing that I can't live without, it's actually watches. The thing about watches, right, I believe that I should always have one watch for certain events. This is actually your very cheap army watch. This is $17. I wear it on the days where the shoe, you know, I'm gonna get sweaty. This is waterproof. This is digital, so it tells the time exactly. You can see the numbers, you don't have to look on the dials. But for this one, this I would wear this on the days that I would go with my friends and or like they have more formal events, you know. It's a nice dress watch. This is a Seiko. I went out with my mom and I told her like, hey, um, I wanna buy a watch. And then she was like, sure, let's go see one. And then she came up to me and then she was like, oh, why don't you buy this? This is on sale. Then I look at the price, I'm like, no, this is too expensive. She was like, you know what, just buy it, you know. I'll buy it for you and then you can pay me in an installment. And then after I pay, and then she was like, haha, I just made you buy a really expensive watch. I'm like, yep, and this is it. All right, moving on. This one. <laughs> I grew up with this. Vincent also did. I was actually raised by this stuff, you know? Like I, was, I was born in Indonesia. You must understand that as a half Indonesian, right? This is really important. I don't have it every day, but I know that this is essential. Very essential to me. When I'm too lazy to go out to eat, delivery is too expensive. What do you do? Get this. You know, there's a lot of variations of how you cook it. Um, I just cook it normally. Probably, you know, with a like a sunny side up if, you know, I'm feeling all fancy. Crack an egg inside. Mmm. Sedap. Moving on, this is my perfume. So this is Davidoff Cool Water. And this is very common. Um, you can find it everywhere. You can find it on a shopping mall. You can find it in like... Maybe Sephora. I like the smell. It's slightly more on the muscular side. The thing is, I sweat a lot and you know, when you go into public transport, I'm very conscious about my smell and I don't want people to like, you know, when I talk to people, when I meet people, you don't want to smell bad. And at least I have this. It gives us a smell that, you know, this smells reminds me of Kevin. Trev and Leonard have their own perfume. Zen Hao has a very special perfume. I won't tell you what, but you can find that out. All right, so the next one is my acne cream. Ever since the pandemic, um, everyone's wearing masks. So I got into this thing called the mask knee. I don't know whether it's a real thing. Um, but yes, I have a lot of uh, acne and pimple around this area. I actually went to try a bit of like a few acne cream and this one works the best. What's even better is I bought it off Shopee. One dollar to two dollars per tube. Acne cream, very important. You don't want to look bad. All right, next thing is my AirPods, my earpiece and my headphones. 
why just like then i listen to a lot of music when i'm working when i'm on my public transport on my way to work when i'm on my way to home and even when i try to get to fall asleep uh, if you're wondering what kind of music do i listen to um, i listen to a lot of lo-fi just very indie stuff some a bit of k r b but mostly chill r b something more on a down mellow at night you know when you're editing you just want something playing in the background but you don't want it to be too overwhelming so this is a very old audio technica m50s i have it with me for seven years it still works very well i use it for like when i just really just want to listen to music this is the thing to go so this is my airpods pro i got this as a birthday gift from Zen Hao. so thank you Hao. he knew i was looking for airpods and then he, he surprised me one on my birthday so i'm very thankful for that i wear this you know when i'm on my way to work when i'm waiting for my friends outside but the problem with this right I have a bad habit of forgetting to charge it which is why i carry another one this is my studio earpiece this is a backup when this battery runs out which is why you know the portable charger is an ecosystem so yes um i carry two earpiece by the way it sounds ridiculous but i really cannot live without having music when i go out so what are the 10 things that i can't live without let me see and i have daryl I've been there under for so long and I feel that you haven't washed your socks in a while, right? Because I lost my sense of smell now. Okay, I'm just kidding. So the next one is a portable speaker, a Bluetooth portable speaker. This is a JBL Flip 3. I prefer this over like the, the one that you put on the table because I can bring this to anywhere. You know, like I usually bring my friends over on the weekends to like have dinner at my place, have hot, hot you know, create your own heady love. So, you know, you're gonna get some vibe, you know, some ambience music. This is perfect. You know, let them play their own songs. Tongan dance two days when he had hot pot in my place. It was uh, very wild. All right, so the next one I have is uh, my guitar. This is actually a very cheap guitar. I actually got it from a gift from a friend when I was serving the army. You know, it's good to have a musical hobby, you know, just to unwind the stress. You don't have to be good at it, you know, but just find a nice hobby. So the last one is uh, my smartphone. I just want to tell you guys, right? I'm no longer using my iPhone 7. This, I just bought this. It cost me my kidney, but I'm really happy with this. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's too big for my hand, but I don't care. It has great battery life, which is why I need three portable chargers. Why? Because my iPhone 7 has really bad batteries. The battery has one off, and I'm like charging it for every 15 minutes. But this bad boy right here, I don't need to charge it for a day. And I have 250 gigabytes inside here. And you have a great camera, you know, to take BTS photos for Insta stories. This is it. What apps do I use the most? Um, for work, I use WhatsApp. For friends, I use Telegram because you have great stickers. I use Instagram a lot. I browse Reddit a lot with it. I play a lot of Genshin Impact with it. I Netflix everything with this phone. So I'm very thankful. This is a very expensive Christmas gift for myself. And it will probably last me for the next three years before I switch on to, I don't know, iPhone 15. All right, so there you go. These are the 10 things that I can't live without. I feel like I work in an electronic shop uh, with a packet of noodles, if you guys want. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think is the quirkiest things that I can't live without. And if you want to know more about me, you can follow on my Instagram right here. And also, don't forget to follow Team Titan Instagram right here. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch our previous videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye!